Hi everyone, welcome to the Simple Art at Home Summer Camp Art Series with me, Laura Houston. Get your art supplies ready because together we will get creative, learn about art, and have some fun along the way. I'll meet you at the art table. lesson is called Whimsical Paper Sculptures. For this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make two different sculptures. So you will need two pieces of paper and two smaller papers to act as the base for your sculpture. These are six inches square and these are uh, pieces of white construction paper that I cut in half. So I'm going to set these to the side. You'll need a pair of scissors for this project and a black pen or a black crayon and um, either something to color with or something to paint with. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right away since I'm going to show you how to make two different sculptures. And for this first one, uh, we're simply going to um, completely color a sheet of paper. And I'm going to try not to use too much water because I want it to be able to dry in time so that I can cut it up. Okay, but we'll start this one and then move on to um, the other paper and while this one is drying. All I'm going to do is just paint random colors. If you're using crayons, you can just use any of your favorite uh, crayons to just completely color this paper because we just want I want to have one of the sculptures be like colorful and since we have white paper a way that we can do that is to just start coloring it in this will just simply be like an abstract background we're gonna cut this up so it doesn't matter if your lines are choppy it doesn't matter at all this will be cut into um, all different sized um, strips of paper. You can do random colors. Don't take like too, too much time picking out your colors. I'm just using all of the watercolors in my uh, paint palette here. And you can see they're kind of blotchy, but that's gonna look good anyway, it doesn't matter. So just kind of move through this quickly because it's, as I said before, these pieces are going to be cut up into smaller strips and then the random colors on the strips will look pretty. It'll be kind of like a soft pastel look. And I think it's just easy if you, if you paint in this vertical motion, it's in this vertical direction, it's kind of just easier to get all the paper colored in. And you can see how quickly I'm moving. I'm just getting water, paint, and dabbing a little bit on my paper. I'm just going through, I'm not even really thinking about what colors I'm grabbing with, on my paintbrush because it's all going to look pretty. You can do all one color straight down or you can mix it up like I'm doing here. And these colors will, they dry lighter so don't worry about the, the, the edges because it's going to, it'll smooth out once it's dry. It'll, they'll look softer. I'm not using brown or black, but you can. You can use any color that you want. I'm almost done with this page and then I'm gonna set it to the side and let it dry while I work on the other sculpture. See, it's, it's pretty just as it is, isn't it? And we're just using random, look how fast we did that. There, okay, that's it. That's all I'm painting. And I want, I'm gonna put away my paints and let that dry. So I'm just going to set this paper to the side. Um, if you're at a desk, maybe you wanna just set it on the carpet uh, next to your desk or on the floor where it's not going to get stepped on. That's what I did. Cause I just want it to dry right there. Okay, 
So now this paper is going to be for the second sculpture and you're going to need a pen and we're going to start by making a curved line and then I'm just going to start going on both sides of that line I'm going to keep going because we're going to almost completely fill up this paper. But they don't have to be perfect. I'll probably do one more and then start a different line in a different direction. Okay, and now I'm going to maybe start over here. If I need to turn my paper, that's okay. I'm just going to keep going. Maybe I'll do another one on the outside here. And maybe over here, I'll start a line in this direction. There is no wrong way to do this. We are drawing line patterns. Maybe I'll draw another curve here and every once in a while I'll just do some like closed circle shapes like that to fill in some of the spots like here I can do a closed circle shape and fill that in. Maybe I can do another one over here. And then maybe I'll do another line like this. Again, this page is going to be cut up into pieces, like strips of paper that will become our sculpture. And these marks that we're making will become interesting marks on the uh, individual pieces of paper. Maybe since this is like a smaller area, I'll do just some interesting, just wherever the paper has a lot of blank white on it, I'm just going to fill that in. Just do a few more. And here I'll do maybe a circle. I mean, not a circle, but a closed shape. Maybe another line like that. Then maybe here I'll have a line coming this way. Don't take too long. As I said, this will be completely cut into little strips. And maybe this part here, I'll just kind of fill in that. And maybe I'll do a few more over here. And then I'm almost finished. Okay, I'm all done with my pen. Okay, so I forgot to tell you, you're going to need a glue stick or some tape for this project. And my other paper is still drying on the floor right now. So I'm going to start, you can start on, uh, you want to cut on the, the long edge. You want your strips of paper to be long. So don't cut, don't cut this way because this might be too short. You're gonna cut on the long side and cut them, cut your strips different sizes. Some can be wide. See how that one is wider? Almost, oh wow, they almost look like zebra. See that? And then you can do some with, um, with a, curve, not a curve, but like little diagonals, look at that. And then the other one automatically has an edge to it. So I'm just going to go through and I think it's just most interesting if you cut them different widths. So some are going to be wide and some will be narrow. 
And you'll have some left over too. Okay, there. You might, um, yeah, I'll just keep this one like that. Okay, so in order to create our paper sculpture, um, you are going to take these strips and apply glue to the side that's not colored. Um, sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the base. And what we're gonna do is just connect. So I'm just gonna put glue right here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to connect it. I'm pressing it down with my finger. There. So far, we have something that looks like this, okay? And I'm just going to keep going. Um, if you want to, something interesting is you can fold these like a zigzag and glue those like that. And I, you can also um, overlap them or glue it right on top of the base of the other one. I'm gonna glue him right here. And you can um, fold it once it's already glued on there. Okay. And you can make one go over the top of another one. So we might not use all these strips, but you're going to have them in case, you know, after our time is up together, in case you want to continue on with your sculpture, I had you make um, extra. But I'm going to have this one go over. Let's see. Yep, he's going to land about right here. So already this is looking very interesting. And I think I'll try using this piece right here. Maybe. Maybe I'll roll this one. Have you ever tried to do that with paper before? You can roll it on your pencil. Let's do that. See how this looks. So it'll curl. Let me roll this part too. There we go. Okay. Oh. Maybe, maybe I want to put that on top up here. Isn't, isn't that interesting? So I'm instead of attaching it to the base, I'm, oops, I'm going to attach it on top. And it'll be interesting the way those curls hang down. Okay. I'm going to put one more uh, piece on down here. And then I'm just going to show you a little bit of the next sculpture, how to do that one. And then you can kind of go back if you want to add more to this on your own time. But the other sculpture is going to be fun too. It's a little different. I'm going to kind of weave this in here inside. <laughs> there. And again, you can bend it however you want. Okay, I think that looks, that looks pretty interesting. And I do have papers left over. You don't have to use them all. But um, if you want to, you can. I will set this one aside. And if you want to keep going, if you're very happy uh, working on this first sculpture, you can just keep going with it. Uh, now I will show you what to do with this one. So we're going to start by cutting off some of the, some of the end because we don't need all the paper. So I'm cutting off this, but set it to the side because you might need it later. And here, I'm going, my paper is still wet. I can feel it, it's a little bit damp. And if you want to save this one for tomorrow, you might want to. But I'm just gonna go ahead and keep showing you what I had in mind for this project. So this is also a sculpture, but it's going to be made completely out of circles. So I'm gonna take my base and I'm just going to roll the paper into circles. And I'll put um, glue on the colored side right here. And then I'm going to connect it. So first I'm gonna start, and it's okay, mine's not dry all the way, but it's fine. I'm just gonna set it aside. I'm gonna make a lot of circles first. There we go. 
And if you want your circles to be um, different sizes, you simply um, cut, cut your strip a little shorter and then your circle will be smaller. So you technically could have circles that are different sizes. So I'll show you. If you want a smaller circle, you just snip off some and then put glue on it and wrap it around and just start making loops. Again, I wanna put paint, I'm, I'm sorry, I wanna put glue on the painted side because that way the, the painted side will be out on the circle. See, we can do these, they're pretty fast. And like I said, if you wanna do, save one of these sculptures for tomorrow, you can, but if you want to go for it, and try to do two in one sitting, you can, it can be done. Okay, so I'm gonna start and just show you how we're gonna layer up these circles. I'm gonna start by putting some glue on my base and I'm just going to mash that down. I'm pushing it down there so it looks like this. And then I'm going to do another one. Kind of, I think it's better to start closer to the center and I'm putting them in different directions. So I think it looks interesting too. Oh, I'm making a mess of my glue stick. I think it looks good if they're going um, like sideways, different directions. Put one here. This one's taller, that's interesting. I'm gonna put one over here. Yeah, it works. Mine is still a little damp or uh, wet, but it's fine. And then I'm going to put one more over here. And I'm not done yet. Remember that piece that we set to the side? We're gonna use that because we're gonna do a two-story sculpture. Okay, so, so far I have all these cool uh, circular objects. Now, I wanna cut this because I just want smaller circles because I would like to put at least three smaller circles on top. So I'm just going to, oh, I want glue on the painted side. I gotta listen to my own directions. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy to get confused. All right, now, the way that you would uh, make a double decker is just put, put glue on one of your circles and then just kind of pinch it with your thumb and your index finger until it sticks, until it grabs. And there, it's sitting there. I'm gonna do the same thing again. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing. Maybe you wanna make a triple decker. I think this will look interesting if I put this one here. Like I said, you can make them go in different directions. Look what this is looking like. Isn't that fun? This is something you could do at home, isn't it? All you need is paper, some crayons, some scissors, and a glue stick. I think my I think the center needs a little double decker down there because the center of my sculpture is getting a little bit lost. I have these two little pieces of paper left over. Maybe I'll try to make a little, a little circle and put it even on top even more. And there we go. I'm gonna put some glue. And I'm just gonna try to, oh, oh, did I mess it up? It slipped, let me try that again. <laughs> hey, it happens. Glue is sticky and slippery and my fingers are sticky right now. Let me try it again. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll just try just squeezing with one hand with my thumb and my index finger without sticking too much. There. Okay. So, we have a little bit of time left. Wow, can you believe it? Uh, we have five minutes left, so 
um, I'm going to just let you continue to work on either sculpture. Um, let's see. So, oh, here's, I was looking for my, for my extra strips. Uh, if you want to do some loops, now that you know how to make loops, maybe you want to make some here. So I have a gap right here. Maybe I want to fill this space with something. And I think I'll, I'm going to bend this. I'm going to crease it. And maybe I'll make it a little shorter. There. And I'm going to add this one in here. I feel like I want to fill in this space a little bit more. So just take some time and, and work on either one of your sculptures. And just have fun with the paper. Explore. Remember, you can't do this wrong. There's no wrong way. Maybe you want to make a loop-de-loop, -loop, kind of like a roller coaster with one of your sculptures. That's fun too. I've had students do that before. And here's my curly cues that are hanging off. That looks better. It's a little more complete. I think that's interesting. And I like the contrast of all the black and white lines that we made and then just the white base. So let me see. Keep, you can go ahead and keep working on your sculptures. Okay, my hands are definitely sticky. Afterwards, you're going to have to wash your hands too or use some sort of a, a wipe to clean your hands. But, so here we go. I'll hold both of these sideways. So here we have two different kinds of whimsical paper sculptures. And I hope you have fun uh, exploring with paper, with pieces of paper and loops and your scissors and your glue. I hope you have fun and keep going. And I hope you take pictures of your art and send it in to me because I really would love to see how your projects turn out. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.